Welcome to the unboxing of the X-Real Air 2 Pro and the X-Real Beam Pro. Super exciting, the video glasses or AR glasses market is getting hotter and hotter, lots of competition. And this is very exciting. So the Beam Pro, this is the source of the things that you're gonna see in these glasses. So this is something like a phone without phone function, but this will give you full access to the Google Play Store to play all of your favorite apps and games. Very cool. And yeah, the Air 2 Pro, of course, is the latest version of um, Xreal's video glasses with the latest panels. This should look nice. I'm looking forward to checking this out for you. So absolutely stay tuned. Watch the video because all of this goodness is coming up. I'm so glad that you're back on the channel. My name is Sebastian Ang, and if you are just as excited as me about immersive technologies and products like the X-Real Air 2 Pro and the Beam Pro, then absolutely subscribe to this channel here and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. So now let's unbox the Air 2 Pro first. And yeah, beautiful packaging as you can tell, very shiny. And once you open this, you're going to find this one here, the X-Real Air 2 Pro hard case. And it looks better than before, I must say. So no more zippers here. It is just very stylish. And if you think about, you bring this wherever you go into your backpack or whatever, and you have this nice glasses that will give you that big OLED screen, good. By the way, the X-Real Air 2 Pro is gonna set you back $400 right now on the website or on Amazon, so there is a discount, which is nice. And you'll find the nose pads on the right and left, the large and small, the medium one is installed. And here, if you're a glasses wearer, this is what you have to bring to your optician to put in your lenses. But I tried that and actually many opticians don't do this kind of stuff anymore. So you can simply go, for example, to exactly hansvr.com put in code MRTV to get 5% discount and it only costs $60 actually, very good. Then here this cloth to clean the lenses, very good. I have like um, thousands of them now, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, and the documentation, have a look at how everything works, very nicely done. So now let's get to the main event here. The glasses themselves, first of all, there is this light cover on top Let's get this protective film off and you'll see, wow, it's very shiny, very nice design. That is what you need if you don't want to see through at all, if you want completely dark background. All right, then we have this cable here, USB-C to USB-C and on the one and it's angled, the angled part goes into your X-Real glasses and the other one goes into your Beam Pro. Going to check that out soon. And these are the X-Real Air 2 Pro. They look very similar to the X-Real that came before them. However, still very nice design. The loudspeakers here, quite big, right? So you should get enough volume out of them. And on the other side, under the right stem, we have the buttons. We have a smaller button and this button is for darkening down the environment, which is really cool. And then the larger one is for setting up the brightness levels. Okay, let's have a look at the displays. So first, let's get this protective layer off. And then I'm looking forward to look through these very soon. Yeah. Again, we have like a micro OLED 1080p displays as always with these displays and these are the latest Sony panels that they're using here. And now we're getting to the Beam Pro and the Beam Pro is going to set you back $199. In Europe, that's 229 euros for the version with 128 gigabytes of storage. And looks very nice. I like the design so far. Well, it does look like a phone. Basically, it is an Android phone without the phone functions, but it comes pre-installed with the Nebula operating system. So once you plug the device inside, the Nebula OS is gonna start and you will be able to use all these Android apps in a spatial kind of way. And we're going to try this out in this video in the first impressions part. So we got 
two cameras and with these cameras you can take spatial photos and videos just like with the latest Apple iPhone 16 which is great. We got a micro SD card slot where you can extend the memory up to one terabyte which is also very cool so you don't even need to get the 256 gigabyte version of this device but simply the smaller one and yeah when you turn it on you will see that it's an Android phone basically. You can sign in with a Google account and if you want to use the Xreal store you should also have an Xreal account that you can set up right now and yeah that all happens in the very beginning of setting up the Beam Pro. They will also explain to you what you can do with the phone, how you can make videos with the phone and how to use the Xreal Air Pro glasses. All right, and then you will see you have a typical Android operating system here. You can download apps from the Play Store, everything as normal, but now let's try it out. All right, so here it is, the Xreal Air 2 Pro, and let me put it on. Yes, fits very well. No big changes to the Xreal Air, but it's okay. It already looked very good, so I'm more excited about the visuals once I connect this to this here, the Beam Pro. So actually I did not try the original Beam, so I'm directly getting into the Beam Pro here. So looking forward to try that out. So now it's updated and I'm going to connect this for the first time. I suppose it will directly do the right thing. So we have two USB-C connections here. One is for charging the device and one is for the glasses. Let me put it into the glasses port. And, oh wow, all right. So everything turned black, the whole thing. And I'm seeing now the Nebula OS logo. That looks better than a few generations before. And now I already have like this um, smooth follow, which is kind of nice. So it, it is, it doesn't feel like that the screen is glued to where I look. It's kind of like, yeah, smoothly follows my view, you know? So, so that is actually very nice. I, I like that. It, it feels better than if it's just hardly connected with where I look at. Nice. Please click on the mode button on Beam Pro to switch body anchor. Okay, let's see. So I have this red switch here. And if I click it, let's see what, what body anchor does. Okay, wow, this is pretty, this is pretty good. So, so now with body anchor, actually the display, the virtual display, it stays yeah, pretty much exactly in, in space there. So not bad. So this works really well. Oh, I just see I can actually record what I'm seeing. So that's perfect. Let me do this. So now you can also see what I'm seeing here. And this is the menu with those app buttons. And yeah, I can simply scroll through them as expected. So let's open one thing here, for example, Xreal store. Let's have a look at what's in the store. And let's also download something. <laughs> okay, Netflix, that makes sense. Prime Video, Disney Plus. Okay, that makes all sense. And here's Netflix floating here in the air. So see that, all right, here's Netflix, and yeah. Let's watch. So it's pretty incredible, actually, how well that anchor works. It's, it, it is really, it is fixed in the air. So that is truly good. So yeah, you simply use your thumb and you, you um, scroll through it. And it works well and if you want to choose something you always have that laser beam so that works really well and in terms of the visual quality yeah, this is fantastic the colors are great you have really good edge -to clarity for me it's clear from edge to edge so i'm in the lucky position to have like a 64 millimeters ipd so yeah so that works absolutely well for me I don't know how it is for people who are out of these normal ranges, but for me, I can tell you, wow, I have a great picture here. So let me just watch something now. 
So yeah, it is not bigger than what we've seen before, but it is a great big size like we've seen before with the x real headsets. So the exciting thing truly is this smooth follow and also like um, how well it works to switch to body anchor and how well it stays here in the air. Wow, nice. So pretty cool, I am in the app right now and I click on home and the home screen will kind of like, yeah, appear on top. So you have some multitasking. You can go back to your app, get the home menu back and let us now go into the store. What happens? Okay, cool. So now I have two windows here. Now I have Netflix there and the store here. All right, you know what? Now let me simply try to take a spatial video and see how that will work, how that will turn out. Okay, that's cool. So I can choose now between video, photo and spatial video. Rotate Beam Pro to landscape. And now let me simply record a video here now. So I think for many people, this spatial camera, that should be a pretty interesting value proposition. Let's have a look at that. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. Looks really 3D. Yeah, no surprises here. If I click on large, that will be bigger now. Now I have the, the whole field of view is now the 3D picture and video. So let me go on follow mode to see the whole to see the whole field of view. So for this kind of money to get this kind of ability to make 3D videos is really good. You know, I have the same thing on my iPhone 15 Pro, but yeah, it is way more expensive than this. And in terms of quality, I wouldn't say that the iPhone Pro videos look so much better. So, okay, this is really nice value. I like it. All right, so let me summarize my first impressions of the Xreal Air 2 Pro and the Beam Pro. So what really impressed me with the Beam Pro is how well anchoring works and also how well the smooth follow works. So I haven't seen any of these kind of headsets where the anchoring would work so well. And this is not like a six degrees of freedom headset that could track itself somehow. So x did a fantastic job here of anchoring that screen in midair. Wow, very well done. And also the smooth follow. It is simply more relaxing to have the picture yeah, smoothly follow your gaze or your head movement instead of being exactly tied to it. So these are the things that this brings to the table. And of course, all the Android apps. So I just downloaded Remote Desktop in order to remotely connect to my computer, work directly out of the box, Xbox streaming, all the stuff, everything you want, everything that the Google Play Store can give you, you get it now and you can check it out with your glasses. All of your streaming apps easily can simply download them and use it. So for the price of $200, this is a really good solution for the question how to get the content to your glasses, right? How to watch Netflix on that um, plane ride or what, if you don't want to use your own phone, right? So wow, this is a really good solution. And then on top of that, you can even do the spatial videos here or spatial um, pictures, which also look really good. And yeah, you get this for a fraction of the price of the iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 6, 16 that can also do spatial videos, right? So a very nice budget friendly solution. And I really like the Xreal Beam Pro. Now let's get to my impressions of the Xreal Air 2 Pro. <laughs> so no big changes have been done as compared to the Xreal Airs that came before that. It's still the same nice um, yeah, look and 
Of course, I do enjoy the latest panel here. The visuals are fantastic. I have, I have a sharp picture from edge to edge. It is as big as before, really good size. The sound is, is okay. I could use it in a room that's not loud or noisy, right? But if you're outside, you would need to use earphones, just like for other headsets. So yeah, I do like it. For people who wear glasses, you do need to get these kind of lens inserts. And yeah, you can simply go, for example, to HansVR.com, my channel partner, and get them. With code MRTV, you're going to get 5% discount, so that's good. And you need that. Yeah, so very good first impressions here of the Xtreme Air 2 Pro and the Beam 2 Pro. I can recommend that. However, this has been my unboxing and first impression video, and these were my first impressions. I'm going to use that now for the next few weeks and come back to you with a full review and also with comparisons to other glasses just like these. All right, that's everything I got for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're into headsets and glasses like these here. That's everything that I got for this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.